What's up guys? So uh Mulifenzeki, Bafana Bafana coach has announced his squad to face Ghana and as well as Sudan. Uh crucial two qualifiers that are left uh for Bafana Bafana to play in order to qualify. And yeah, look, there is players that I'm happy in the squad, there's players that I'm surprised are not in the squad, and I'm surprised and, and there's also players that I'm just like why are they in the squad as well? You know, there's players that I also wonder why are they in the squad as well. And there's a lot of names you can throw up. There's a lot of things that you could say and throw your emotions and say all of that stuff. But now I saw this tweet by Veli, the top journalist in South Africa, and I thought he was he was right when he said this because he said international football is no is no pop in place. So. Um, maybe international friendlies that that could have been the time where you throw in a lot of names a lot of mixtures and all that um, And then look this is qualifier. So this is very important. There's two games left and Already at this current stage in the group stage that Bafana Bafana find themselves in they're in a position where they They, they can qualify they second to Ghana and they take two teams from that group in order to qualify now Because he's put us in that position with two games left to go Mullivan has to qualify like he has to qualify and I think that's why he went with the names that he went with even though there's some names I don't agree with that probably should have been there but he's gone with those names he's dying by his sword he's dying by his decisions which is a good thing but he has to make sure Bafana Bafana get over the line and qualify for FCON because if he doesn't qualify for FCON after these two games there is no situation where you sort of can argue for him to stay and I think he knows that. And that's why he picked the squad that he picked. Because his next mission is qualify. That's what you have to do is qualify because you've put yourself in this situation where you have to qualify. Then at the tournament, that's going to be different. Hopefully, we can be very competitive. But because he's put us in a situation where there's two games left, you're second place, you have to qualify. There is no other ways about it. And no offense to Sudan and Zola Sautume, you should be qualifying. The hardest game is going to be Ghana, no doubt. But Mulefenteki is making these decisions because I think he knows that if he doesn't get the job done, there is no way he can argue to stay.